and tubes. We all love them. But here's the problem. Most people don't have the means to test them. And even if they do, they have a small little tester that will do filament testing and grid leakage at the max. And maybe a quarter of what you can do here. But if it doesn't have a life test, GM emission testing, even shorts, your tester is pretty much worthless. So um, if you do a lot of switching out and, you know, you're just kind of listening and just testing for filament, you're not really doing much. Basically what you want to do is, you know, spend put a little bit of money on a tester if you work on these things a lot, you know, if you have a bunch of tube amps or you even repair tube amps and, you know, you have a little tube tester. Um, here, let me try uh, to show you what I'm talking about here. This is a good known tube that I've tested earlier. I know it goes in the socket 25 here. The first thing I do is test it for shorts and I will go around and see if this little guy stays lit. Little lights is fine. Not a problem. Okay, so no shorts. Okay, now I'm going to test the GM emissions. And it looks like we're good. And now I'm going to give it a life test. Now if it goes down, you know it's a bad tube. If it stays where it is or goes down just a little bit, it's a very good tube. So we know that this is a good tube. Now, I'm going to switch this over to a tube that I know is suspect. And show you the same thing. I'm going to go with the shorts first. Little blanks don't mean anything as long as it doesn't stay on. So it doesn't have any shorts. Now we're going to test the GM emission. And creep up a little bit. You would think that this is an okay tube. Probably a quarter of the tube testers out there have GM emissions out there that you guys have. And now I'm going to do a life test. Whoa. You see? This guy doesn't have a lot of life left in it. It's not in the bad area yet. But you know that it's dying. So that is a very important feature of tube testers that I think is a must have. So this is roughly a $200, $250 tube tester. Anything under that, you're really not going to get what you need. So put some money aside and, and, and definitely get yourself one of these if you really care about if your tubes are good or not. Capiche?